Yeah, hi friends. Uh, so welcome to Techie Study and Azure series. Um, in this video, we are going to discuss about how to send the pipeline failure notification email via Logic Cap and usage of web activity. So let's go ahead and create the pipelines um, to check the email notification. So let me create. I have already opened the studio. we will call as PL email notification okay so in this we will call the web activity so in this web activity we are going to call the logic app okay so in this URL we need to get it from logic app okay so in general we required three parameters so object message pipeline name this is settings under settings we need here post method and body need to view dynamic this is the one body view data factory name pipeline name subject and these are the parameters we need to pass click ok so, so keep this uh, as it is so we required a, a logic cap url right so let's go ahead and create the logic cap url i mean logic cap once create we will get the logic app url so go to the logic apps so click here add so create logic app and resource group name is we will use same thing and send email Okay. If this is as it is, we will use same condition and standard only we will use and existing work board windows plan only we will use nothing to change. Next see if you will see here um, it will use the storage account when I uh, when when creating logic app you must create link external storage to store the workflow state and run history in the arctic apps whenever the logic app is running it will uh, store the um, workflow state run history in the storage account and here we need to use consumption so this is a pay as low mhs uh, workflow runs this is the main option we need to follow so next review and create so we have one email this is a main pipeline I mean child pipeline we will use this child pipeline for all uh, master pipelines so for failure section we will add this child pipeline Okay. Let me copy this bit. It will fail as per the syntax error. 
so our main pipeline and master pipeline is ready let's go ahead and check create so it's validated now we are creating the logic app make sure we need to create a parameters here and those parameters we will assign it to our uh, under settings here we will assign the in the body section and headers so content type we need to add this one content type type application JSON it will show headers anything we need to add is one of the thing see application JSON we need to add that so authentication is null method is post so now only required our URL so our logic cap is created now go to the designer so we have introduced in logic caps uh, video as well so let's go ahead with blank logic app so this all the things we have in uh, logic app logic app brings speed scalability into enterprise integration space the ease of use designer variety of available triggers and actions more a powerful management tools merging okay, centralizing your apis uh, as a business move towards delegation logic apps allows you connect legacy and cutting edge system together so integrate with SaaS and enterprise applications create business process and workflows visually unlock the value on premises and cloud applications so in this like uh, we can uh, call the logic app um, HTTP URL in our web we by using web activity we can call and we can execute the store procedures as well in the logic apps so click on logic app blank one now request you can type to search here our HTTP or request so this is the one required okay it will generate the once we save the host post url will automatically generate this is the url we are going to use it in our pipeline okay next step is email here there are two outlooks are there two outlook emails let me show you once it is filtered so outlook 365 is for uh, uh, organization or school or uh, work school account so in our case use case it won't uh, uh, I mean suggest I won't suggest this it will give the error okay outlook.com we need to use this one this one we can use here we need to send email we need to select send email select it and specify the email address and here we need to provide body the generate schema this one properties data factory name and message a pipeline name this thing we need to use this is the object json script click ok about it and here we can we need to use
subject many tools for subject this uh, subject we will assign it in our pipeline that will assign it to your logic cap data factory name Planning. These all parameters we are assigning manually in the above HTTP section. Message. We'll select message. The type is normal. Already we have created. I have created the connection. If it is not created, we need to create a connection. See Outlook.ecm. We want to add add new. So for now I have added already. So we are good. We have configured the email section and let's save it. So automatically the URL is generated. Let's copy this URL and go to the data factory and paste the URL here. Okay. So this is done. Save. Okay. Next our notification once if it is fail we need to call our change pipeline for failure we need to add this let's call our change pipeline email notifications subject failed message interview pipeline name Okay. So here message subject we are passing here from pipeline level. It will pass it to the logic cap. There, that is the reason we have added the uh, um, um, JSON format in the HTTP section here. So those variables, like consider as a variables, we are uh, using those parameters in our uh, email section. So let's save it so let me run this So it will fail automatically then the pipeline child pipeline will execute once child pipeline is executed the this one will execute and this email will this web activity will call our logic cap logic caps History is not showing, but we received the email. 
for some what the history is not showing in the logic gap section see pipeline name and message everything we got and the pipeline notification is failed so this is the way we need to configure the uh, logic gap in our uh, failed notifications in our emails okay so it's it, this can be used for all the pipelines and only the thing we need to change the pipeline names in the messages and the subject and pipeline name so this is the only one change we need to do so this is about um, how to create logic app and how can how to call uh, logic app in web activity these are the details we have covered to in this session so let me show you the history it's not refreshing so i will show you the my test email previous history Here we can see the failed or succeeded, whatever. Otherwise, we can see that. See, it succeeded. See if it is failed, or why it is failed, and what where it is failed, and uh, we can check the details here. Okay, it will show the error message, everything in this section. So this is about. Um, so it, most of the developers will use in real time scenario uh, to configure the email notification this is one way one more way we can configure the um, notifications within the azure area uh, that i will show you in next session so that is also like real time scenario so if you are watching first time so please subscribe to my channel and share it to your friends and do the comment like share uh, thank you so much bye